He is the first and only licensed driver with diabetes in the history of IndyCar to win the race at the most elite level of the series. And please welcome to the show, Charlie Kimball. Charlie, it's so good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about having this condition and what that is like for somebody who is an elite athlete such as yourself. Well, for me, it comes down to managing my blood sugar. Um, too high, I don't perform very well. Too low, and it can be very dangerous. So I really have to keep my sugars on track. You know, my mechanics work really hard to make sure that my IndyCar performs at the highest level, and I have to work very hard to make sure that my body performs at the highest level as well. You know, a 500-mile race like the Indianapolis 500, I can be strapped in the car three, three and a half hours. So it's critical that I'm able to keep track of what's happening with my body during the race. Uh, to that end, I wear a Dexcom continuous glucose monitor. So I have a sensor on my body that transmits to a receiver and I plug that receiver into my steering wheel. So on my dash, I have speed, lap time, oil pressure, blood sugar, water temperature, my car and body data right there together. This is unbelievable as we're looking at the technology because I can only imagine what that must be like for somebody such as yourself that can't pull over. You don't have the time to do this, but it's critically important for your health. Where did this idea come from? Did this company approach you? Did you come up with the idea? How did this come to be? And then how do you hope that this application helps people who find themselves in similar situations such as yourself? Well, it all started with my doctor. When I first went in to see my endocrinologist and talked about what I do as, as an athlete and as a racing driver, she said, you'd be a perfect candidate for a continuous glucose monitor. And with a three-day race weekend, the seven-day sensor life of the Dexcom G5 unit was the perfect fit for me. Uh, so once we started talking about how that would work, originally it was Velcroed to my steering wheel, but now working with both the Dexcom engineers and the race team engineers, we've been able to integrate it with the data system. And how has this made a difference in your performance overall? I'm imagining that it's given you a lot of opportunities that you perhaps didn't have before. It's taught me a lot about what diabetes means for me outside of the race car as well as inside the race car. Um, I do a lot of work training on my body. Uh, working in the gym, I work with an exercise physiologist, and all of that data, all of those blood glucose readings coupled with my nutrition logs, my insulin doses, have been able to educate him and myself on how to better train out of the car and also where I want my blood glucose numbers to be in the car. This is incredible. If someone's watching and they're thinking to themselves, I would love more information on this, if they have type 1 diabetes, what, what is the best recommendation that you would have? Talk to their doctors first. Is there a website they can do some research? Can they follow up on your story? Absolutely. Talk to your doctor. If you want to keep up to speed with me on the racetrack, you can follow me at Twitter on Twitter at Race With Insulin. Uh, but for more information about a continuous glucose monitor, go to Dexcom.com. That's D-E-X-C-O-M.com. And uh, for people looking for general information about diabetes, they can go to diabetes.org. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing your story. And best of luck uh, with the season. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be on the lookout for you, and we hope nothing but the best for you. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me. And we'd like to thank Dexcom for sponsoring this segment. In the meantime, we're following some developments over in the Weather Center. Let's go over.